Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Lags Art. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to paint this particular painting from scratch, okay? So here I have uh, a square shape MDF board. So I already wrapped this using this kind of plastics, okay? Uh, this is something which we use to do, uh, wrap our stuffs, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how I used to wrap this kind of wooden MDF. I'm going to use this as a palette, okay? All we need is a smooth surface to paint, especially when we use one step technique. I'm gonna use a knife and straight cut. Okay, that's all. Okay. We prepared the canvas. I mean, we prepared the uh, palette. Okay, guys, we done uh, preparing the canvas. So you don't need any MDF for this. You can even use normal cards like this. Okay, which has a little sheen in it. So it will be perfect for uh, loading your brush, especially for uh, once your technique. So now I'm going to cut this canvas sheets. Into any size. So up to six inches. It's like about 8 inches height and 6 in width. Colors I'm going to use are titanium white, light green shade, and 
a blue sheet. This is Prussian blue here. Now I'm going to use this sponge to create the background. So just dip the sponge inside water, light it by the excess water. So now I'm going to dab on the green shade I have. Okay. Actually, uh, already had black which is tried as um, I haven't watched this so I only took light green so far now I'm gonna touch white okay so now I'm gonna start from here and I'm simply rotating in circular motion Yeah, just spreading the color this is one of the easy way to block the background quickly Again, I'm loading my brush with both the colors. Now I'm going to attach a little bit of white alone and I'm just adding it in the center a bit. A little more white again in the center. From the center, just spread it outside again in the circular motion. Again, a little more white, again in the center. Okay, now I'm gonna pick up some Russian blue hue. Okay, I'm gonna add them. To create um, the corners, the darker corners, just dab, 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 okay. We don't need any hard edge, so what I'm doing is I'm just dabbing. We don't need to see something like this, okay? So I'm just smoothing the corners and just dabbing this way, okay?
we are done creating the background so now let's add few flowers over here okay so if you didn't wash your brush i mean wash your sponge immediately then the colors might suck over there just like uh, i did before the black is already there right i couldn't get rid of that so just wash it by putting it inside the water let it soak inside the water okay so now i'm going to use my flat brush uh, okay let's paint some daisies okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to use a scruffy brush this is one by four inch a quarter inch scruffy if you don't have this you can just simply use your uh, old brush you know you can use your old round brush just crop up to half then you will get something like this okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use burnt amber and uh, yellow ochre to create detail i mean to add details to the center portion of daisy Just squeeze very less as you're gonna use very less amount of paint. Now I'm gonna wash my brush and dab it on the paper towel to remove excess water. Now let's load our brush one tip with burnt timber and the tip with yellow ochre and just tap it on the palette just press hard okay and now i'm gonna add few daisy i'm gonna start from here so here will be my first daisy Reloading. I'm gonna add my second daisy over here. Just make a kind of half circle by dabbing your brush. And my third daisy will be over here. Okay, just three daisies. And I'm washing my brush now. Acrylic dries faster, so you have to wash your brush immediately after you use. Okay, now I'm going to paint um, a daisy which has a hint of red. Okay. White daisy with uh, the hint of red. So for the red, I'm going to use vermilion. I already have white in my palette. And I'm going to use my round brush. This is number five. Round brush from Art Pack. Wash your brush. It would be good if the background dried. Okay, otherwise the colors will blend with the daisy. So now I'm gonna load my brush with um, white first. Just roll, roll, roll your brush. And load it with the white well. And with the tip of the brush, I'm gonna pick up some red. And now, I'm gonna start from here. Okay. Press 
and connect okay again repeat the same progress press and connect one more time press and connect again the same way press and connect with the center it's okay if your white had the hint of red as we are loading both the colors every time whenever you use rhombus you can touch a little bit of water or floating medium if you have okay we are done adding the first layer of petals let's add another layer of petals over here and here i mean um, let's add another layer after some time so in that meantime we can add petals over uh, here and here press Okay, now I'm gonna add another layer of petal for this one. I'm simply gonna load my brush with white alone. And I'm gonna start from here. Adding petals in between the petals which we added before. And this one will be shorter than the previous petals. So I'm gonna use my quarter inch flat brush. I'm going to use Prussian blue hue and medium yellow. Load one side, this flat side, with Prussian blue hue, and other side touch with yellow. And now I'm gonna add the stem underneath. Okay, load every time. Okay, make the curvy effect. And just press and release. Okay, we are done. Now I'm gonna add few leaves. Okay, I'm gonna start from here. Press and release.
So now I'm gonna make some curly cues using number two liner brush. Okay, this is from uh, Dona Dewberry. Just create, make some inky paint. Okay, make some inky paint of the green shade. I'm gonna have a little bit the darker shade so I'm gonna pick up some blue and then I'm gonna mix with it with it if your paint is very thick you cannot create that curls Okay, we are now adding these curls. We are done. Now I am going to add some highlight over here using my scruffy brush and I just touch a little bit of uh, yellow ochre over here and I'm gonna dab a bit on the side alone to give the highlighted effect don't overdo okay Okay, we're done. So now I'm gonna peel off the tape. Okay, this is the satisfying part, right? The fun part. So here is the final part. I hope you enjoyed this video. So and I hope you, you learned something from this video. So thank you so much for watching. Keep supporting me. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Inshallah I will see you soon in my another painting video. Until then it's bye bye from Fatima Afrin. Take care of you guys.